Hello, this is Up For Whatever. Uh, my name's Chance Acne. My main man, the cameraman, Jordan Smith over there. My mom's in the background. First of all, video, say hi, Mom. Hi. There's her. She's kind of crippled. Just to let you know, um, she's been in the hospital lately. I'm sorry we haven't been posting videos. If I'm talking too fast, I'm kind of sorry. Here's my sister's brand new white towels. They were warm when they started, but now it's kind of cold and I'm kind of sad. Um, my friend asked me how I made these paracord bracelets. My, so... My mom asked me for one earlier, like a week ago, and I ain't had the paracord to um, ever make any. So I went and off a uh, board boarded boardparacord.com, I believe it is. Um, I'm not for sure, but um, he has a whole bunch of paracord videos, um, all that you can buy a paracord. I made this with a board paracord. Got this uh, easy jig off Amazon. We already have it preset. We need scissors. We need a lighter. Be careful, guys. It's burning. Um, we need a, a buckle. The jig's optional. You can do it by hand. I have fids. They're for 550 cord. That's what I have. Um, so let's get started. See, what you want to do is you want to put your buckles in first, okay? Put your buckles in, put your buckles in. Depending on what size it is, is what you'll need. Uh, for e for most bracelets, it's for for every one inch, it's it's about a foot. So this bracelet is, uh, I believe, eight. Um, and I used eight and a half feet. So just add an, add about an extra foot inch if you don't want to waste anything um so we're now updating our software let you know and um i'm gonna go ahead and hello guys uh we're back here i'm sorry um we kind of had to stop the video i kind of had to cut cut it <clears throat> okay so for an eight eight and a half inch bracelet or eight and a half inch bracelet we're gonna need eight feet <clears throat> Or eight and a half feet. Okay. Wait. Or not seven. Seven. I have eight and three quarters foot paracord. It's kind of what it looks like folded. Yeah. No. Okay. We're gonna be making this. I call it a uh, the cobra back. Um. First, what we need to do is we need to align it through the buckles. I, I pre-flattened the tip so it's easier to get through the buckles. I didn't say how easy, but you know, kind of when your fingers are burnt, but you know. Okay, got it in there. And then you want to make a cow's hitch. It's virtually when you take your two loops put it back through cinch it tight okay and you want to take it wrap it around y'all were making a lot of noise back here put, put it through the other side what she said. Oh! Okay, I have one question. Who is the she in Proclaimed and that's what she said? She must get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> uh, adjust this a little. See, because the buckle's going to measure from here to here. Okay, we're going to wrap back up. See, we got our inner strands. Right here, we got our working strands. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, sorry. Um, I didn't do it in the last minute or two, but uh, I kind of had a bit of struggle with the paracord. I was trying to put them in the jig, and uh, it wouldn't work. So, first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your uh, one working end, put it over top, just like so. Okay, so it's gonna make another working end. Okay. Gonna take this one, wrap it up under. Okay. 
So virtually they're going to be inlaid like this. I'm going to take this one, wrap it up under. Okay, so now you have just them crossed over with the middle working ends in between. So now you've got four working strands. Let me I'm gonna go ahead pull it down. Chicken in the fridge, I'm looking at the bowl. Okay, so now you have working ends, and you got to push this all the way up to the top right here. You want to work on the end with the cow hitch. You want to wrap it through, put it back up through. Okay, what you're going to first do is you're going to put this up through, right here. Okay, I'm using the, the jig so you can see. Wrap it over once. Okay, you're going to take this end with the jig. You're going to put it down through, up through the other side, and all the way across. Okay, you want to keep it. You want to try and keep everything tight. Okay, now you're going to take this end that you've That's already wrapped through said. and put it over across. Okay. You want to keep everything pretty tight. This is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Delicious food. Wrap this up again. Let me go ahead and move these out of the way. Wrap it up again. We're going to leave it off to the side. I'm going to take this back down through here. Put it off to the side underneath the working ends. Through the working ends. Push these two down. Put it through the working ends. Take this. Bring it over top of all of it. Cross them. You're making a cross through them. See? Bloop, bloop, bloop. I'm going to keep everything tight and close to the end as possible. Okay, guys, we're back now. Um, okay, I kind of wanted to tell you that uh, I ended up using more than I thought instead of using eight feet for this braid. Um, I ended up using 15 foot, I believe. I'm not for sure. Um, but I do have a, a stitch or melting point right here where I had to solder or uh, white and melt uh, two more strands together. I'm not for sure, but uh, this is how we finish it, guys. See, trusty you need a scissor fan, grab them. Okay, you want to snip them off. If, uh, you know, I wasn't bought safety scissors <sighs> okay you might want to you might gonna want to use your lighter tip for this guys but uh you burn it right here burn it on the end try try to keep it away from everything if you can you don't want to burn the buckle or anything and you want to melt it melt the tip down Uh, how do you burn plastic good if you melt plastic? Okay, I'm going to take your side of your lighter, press it in. Keep everything, try and keep everything flat so ain't nothing going to come loose on you. Then you melt it on the edges. Lick your finger, press it off to the side, make it flush so ain't nothing going to scrape you. Okay, now you unbuckle it. Now that's not needed anymore, guys. Okay, you want to take this one? This one? Okay. Cut it off right here. My hair. It's not making fun of me. <laughs> Dicky in the face. I swear if I'd stop buying me safety scissors. <laughs> I swear. Okay, if you keep saying I swear, you should just sing the song. I swear. By the oh, that's hot, that's hot, that's hot, that's hot. That kind of scared me before it got hot. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh, that's kind of hot still. Uh -huh. da -da 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 Aha! Uh -huh. FML guys, FML. Okay. Burn it, 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 burn it,
Let the edges on it. Lick your finger. Make it so it's flush with it, so it ain't gonna, ain't nothing gonna grab you. Pinchy.